Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. Well, as the title says everyone, I'm going to be feeding my Cameroon crab spider, my uh, adult female. And she's just down the bottom of her court bark there. Just uh, stretching out and relaxing. So I've gave her a good six days for her to settle into her new enclosure. And I'll be giving her a feed today. So I'm going to give her a nice large dubia roach. And... Uh, Let's get started. So everyone, as you can see, I have a, an adult male dubia roach. You can tell it's a male because it's got wings. So as you can see, there's my Cameroon crab spider there. So let's give her a feed. So everyone, as you can see, there's the roach there on its court bark. I'm hoping the roach is going to go behind the back and we're going to see a nice natural attack. There we go everyone. Not a perfect shot of the tight down, but uh as soon as I moved the enclosure the roach moved and these spiders are very very uh fast. So let's just try and get a better shot for you guys. And there you go, everyone. Bit of a bit of view for you guys. I've actually closed my uh, curtains as well because you get a really bad reflection from the natural light. And I'm just using my little uh, flashlight at the moment. Cause you do get a lot of. Um, with the light from my iPhone, you do get a really bad glare. So the roach is putting up a good fight. And I had a little feeling she was going to be hungry. Especially after uh, six days of not eating. I wanted to give her a good... Six days to uh, get used to her new enclosure, so I did have a feeling she was going to be really hungry. Looks like the spider's trying to have trouble grasping its prey with its uh, fangs. I did notice the fangs look a little bit strange. Um, not because they go side to side. That's a lot of true spiders have their fangs that go side to side, but... Um, one of the fangs just didn't look seem long enough to compare to the other one. Um, the other one on the left hand side as you see it now. Uh, that one seemed longer than the one on the right hand side. So um, yeah, I'll um, leave the spider to grab its meal and get a hold of it. And uh, I'll get back to you soon everyone. So everyone, I've left it for about five minutes and you can see it's still uh, having a good fight with its meal. It's a nice, and, nice decent size roach, as I said, adult male. So after she's finished this meal, I'll give her another feed, probably in around about another four or five days time. Her abdomen does look fairly big and healthy so that's the uh that's the main thing and you can see the uh, uh cluster of eyes and just above there you got the carapace and then you got the abdomen and then you got the pedipalps and the clusoroi clus so yeah she should uh definitely enjoy this meal it's going to take her a while to uh, get hold of it and uh, 
start eating. Once the roach is dead, she'll start eating then. I will get some more of these true spiders. I do actually like true spiders. So yeah, I'll leave her to enjoy her meal. And I'll get back to you soon, everyone. So everyone, I've left it for a good 15 minutes. And as you can see, the roach is still alive and uh, it's still having a little bit of trouble trying to grasp its prey with its fangs. But uh, I'm not too sure how strong the venom is. I've been trying to have a look on uh, the internet, but I can't really find much information. So I'll leave her to enjoy her meal. And... Uh, Thanks for watching everyone.